So after this recent trip, I've had a lot of questions about uh, this rifle. I am not a rifle guy. This was custom built for me. Um, keep that in mind. There is a podcast we did with Viking Armament and XLR Industries. Look that up if you want to know more about that because this is an XLR, XLR Industry chassis and the armor that built it is Viking Armament. He was on that podcast as well. I literally, they handed me a weapon and I use it. So take this for what it's worth, but I'll answer the questions that I can. One of the reasons I went with the XLR Industries chassis is for backpack hunting. This is extremely handy. This folds up. I can fit it inside a day pack. The barrel may be sticking out a little bit, but it works really well for that. I really like the uh, adjustment adjustable cheek piece. It's super simple. It's lightweight. This thing's super dirty when been beating the hell out of it down in Texas, uh, up in the Davis Mountains. It's a 6.5 PRC. Unknown Munitions loaded up these for me. Um, I believe this is a 155 or 6 grain bullet. That's how, you know, inefficient I am at talking about this. They just handed it to me. It zeroed at 100. There's very little dropout to 4. Everything we've shot at with this thing has went down. I'm super happy with it. I am not a gun guy, though. Uh, this is a Mark V um, from Leupold. I'm really happy with this scope. Everything um, about this thing, I really enjoy. It's a five power. Right here, it's on five. Just twist that, it goes to 25 power. My clarity's here. It's got a ballistic turret, which I do not use. I just use the hash marks inside. But it's a Mark V, five, five by 25. Um, this is just a three round magazine, obviously. But I like the fact I push this forward. To disengage the magazine I, i'm not a gun guy but this thing's been unbelievable so get a hold of xlr industries and viking armament if have any more questions about it i am the wrong guy to be uh, talking to about rifles or anything about them but for a guy like me that just grabs this generally if I'm, I'm guiding and i need to put an animal down occasionally i pick up a rifle and use it this thing's unbelievable the drop is next to nothing out to 400 yards uh, but again, there's a lot, a lot better people out there you should be asking questions about on, on rifles. But uh, definitely this is uh, for backpack hunting. I don't think you could find anything better.